Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Moving on with the Datsun, today I'll be dealing with the exhaust manifold. A bit of an update on progress, I've got all the parts for the engine and transmission ready to go. I won't be doing a full rebuild, but I'll be changing all the seals, fluids, clutch and flywheel. That'll be coming in an episode real soon, so if you haven't already, subscribe if you don't want to miss that one. Let's get into it! The stock manifold has already been replaced with high flow extractors, so I'll be keeping them. I've just got to deal with the rust it's caked in it, but instead of bringing out the Y wheel, I thought I'd experiment with electrolysis. Simply put, I'll be placing the extractors as well as a sacrificial piece of steel into a tub of conductive solution. Using a car battery charger, I'll then pump current through the solution, detaching any loose rust. The negative lead connects to the rusty part, and the positive to our sacrificial piece. I've added sodium hydroxide to the water to make the electrolytic solution. It is the exchange of negative and positive ions in the solution that makes this process effective for rust removal. So I ended up leaving this running for a week, but I noticed the performance was hindered as the sacrificial rod caked up in rust. It would have been best if I cleaned it up and continued the process. The part looks great, but it's covered in a layer of black sodium carbonate. It's better than rust, but I still got to get rid of it. This buildup, however, can be minimized by using a non-carbonate electrolyte and using deionized water. Upon drying the part, I noticed the pipes still had the smallest amount of surface rust. This could be due to me not cleaning the anode or just flash rust. Either way, I'll let the rust converter do the rest of the work. After a quick wipe down, it's time for some paint. I'm using high temperature ceramic based spray paint, meant for manifolds. This stuff is required to be baked on, since these extractors won't be going on the car immediately, I'll blast them with the heat gun. The next day, I gave it a quick hand polish to bring out some of the sheen. I would have loved to go for that mirror finish look, but the surface was too uneven for that. I've learned a lot from this process. If you've got any tips on how I could have improved the process, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear any feedback. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to help me out. Peace.